Christians, I think, have got a wrong attitude towards the body. They have the impression that the body is something evil that we've got to live with. It's a necessary evil, but it'll be a good thing when we're out of it. And meanwhile, let's not give too much thought or time to the body, because if we do that, we're unspiritual. Now, I don't find that the Bible teaches that attitude towards the body. I'd like to read to you just two verses in First Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own, for ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. So the Bible teaches that our body, our physical body, is a temple of the Holy Spirit, and that when Jesus died on the cross and shed his blood, he redeemed not merely our spirit and our soul, but he redeemed our body. He bought the whole of us with the price of his shed blood, and we belong to him in time, spirit, soul, and body. And he has a very real interest in our body and a very specific purpose for our body. Our body is to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. It's to be the place in which the Holy Spirit dwells. The Bible tells us that God does not dwell in temples made with hands. We can build in any church, any synagogue, any tabernacle that we like, but God will not dwell there. God has chosen and ordained to dwell in the physical body of those who believe in him. And so my body has a very, very important function. It's a residence of the Holy Spirit. And I believe that it's pleasing to God that we make that residence of the Holy Spirit in the best possible condition that we can, that it should be healthy and strong and able to do the things that God wants done. Furthermore, in Romans chapter 6 and verse 13, Paul tells us about our physical members, the members of our physical body. He says, Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. So the various members of my physical body are intended to be instruments, or the alternative reading in the margin is um, weapons that God can use. They do not belong to me, they belong to God. I'm to yield them to God. Now, I think it's logical and obvious that God wants his weapons in good condition. He doesn't want them enfeebled and broken down and unhealthy. He wants our body to be healthy as the temple of the Holy Spirit. He wants our members to be strong, effective, and active because they're the members of, of Christ and they're the instruments that God uses for his purposes in the earth. In a certain sense, Christ has no body in the earth except our bodies. Our bodies are the instruments that he uses for his will in the earth. And I have become convinced that God expects us to keep our bodies strong and as healthy as we can. And I am convinced that fasting is a very practical way to make and keep our bodies healthy. Uh, I believe that many, many physical problems and other problems would be solved if Christians would learn to fast in a practical and healthy way. And part of what I'm going to say is intended to help you to do it with the maximum benefits to your body. Uh, when I look at the way that American Christians treat their body, the kind of things they pour into it, the kind of things they feed it with, I ask myself, how would their cars would be if they treated their car with as little understanding and little respect as they treat their bodies? And I've come to the conclusion most people's cars wouldn't be running. Our bodies are much more long-suffering than our cars. Personally, I think it's simply common sense to treat the body with at least as much concern and intelligent care as you treat your car. And, in fact, more. As a four thousand dollars will buy you a new car. The four thousand dollars won't begin to buy you a new body. In fact, they couldn't even buy you one eye. There is no price in terms of money to be set on a healthy body. And I believe one basic problem with Christians is they simply don't appreciate the importance of a healthy body. Now, in regard to uh, physical aspects of fasting. There are some people who should be cautious about fasting. 